Hey everybody, Sneaky Narcotic, back at it again with another YouTube video. Today we are going to be playing another wonderful deck in Magic the Gathering Arena in M2020 Standard. So today I decided I was going to play some Jeskai Angels. Uh, I I went with Jeskai instead of Naya. I mean, Naya has pretty cool angels like... Let's see here. Whoops, I spelled angels and I meant angel. Um, as you can see, it has quite the amount of angels, uh, and then it allows you to also play, well, I guess I don't have one, so let's go to not collected, uh, do to do to do Renee, which Renee is really good for, like, if you play Aurelia and Feather, but honestly, angels for the most part are, are not multicolored, um, not really anyways. Yeah, there's only these four here plus Renee, and then Kalia is not a not an angel, and then of course it doesn't affect itself. Um, but we did we did keep some good angels in here that I think are really good. Of course, our star of the show is not even an angel; it's Bishop of Wings. Bishop of Wings is a ridiculous card, gaining you four life. Whenever an angel enters the battlefield, and whenever it dies, it creates a 1-1 one, one wide spirit creature token with flying. Which is really relevant, because we have another card in here that's super good, called Safara. Now, Safara makes other creatures you control flying have indestructible. It has flying, lifelink, it's a 7-7 seven, seven for 7. Um, now, the the really good thing is that it has an alternate, uh, alternate CMC... Where you can tap four creatures with flying and pay one white mana. Now, this would honestly be better in an afterlife deck, but I can, I have actually had that go down here um, with the Resplendent Angel triggers, uh, the 1-1 one, one spi uh, Flying Spirits coming out. And the other thing, too, to remember is that the more Bishop of Wings you have out, the more times uh, you'll get a Spirit. And by that I mean is if a Splendid Angel dies and you have two Bishop of Wings out, you get two Spirits. Um, so that's really good. There's there's a couple of different synergies I want to talk about. The Winged Words is really good because we're playing everything has every one of our creatures that's flying, except for Bishop of Wings. Um, another good one is Feather the Redeemed in God's Willing. Feather the Redeemed and God's Willing being in the same, on the same battlefield means that every single turn we'll give our uh, something protection from red, blue, black, whatever we need it to be protected from. Um, and that's really good when it comes against mono play because then, you know, if you're in three colors, you might have two different, uh, two different colors to take care of of one of my creatures. And so I can, you know, if you Assassin's Trophy my Feather and I say, okay, well, I'm going to have protection from green, and then you, uh, you, uh, what's that one, Price of Fame my Feather, then I, I lost, you know? It, yes, God's Willing will come back to my hand, but it won't, it won't again, you know? It's already, Feather's already dead. So, uh, another addition was Opt. I decided to put opt in here just to have another one drop. I wanted, because angels are very top heavy. I mean, as you can see, our first angel is at three CMC, and yes, we have seven of them at three CMC, but it's still very top heavy to play here. Uh, I wanted to have an opt. Uh, just a, the scrying a card and a half is really good for one mana. So that's that's really what this is about to make sure we scry into what we need. Um, justice strike takes care of a lot of things for cheap mana. Again, with it being so high CMC, I really wanted to make sure I had cheaper mana uh, things to deal with. And that's also why Winged Words over Kimster's Inside or Radical Idea. Um, plus, we're playing Flyers. So, uh, Resplendent Angel helps us get Angel tokens. Feather helps us. And honestly, it's just a good 3-4 three, for 3. Uh, it's a Flyer 3-4 three, for 3. And that's, that's really good, you know? really good. Um, Shalai. Shalai is very good. Hexproof. I do not have any um, green mana, so I can't put a plus one, plus one on all my creatures, but that's fine. I don't I don't really need that, uh, honestly. 
I have Aurelia because her little ability gives any creature with white vigilance. And, well, all my creatures are white. So um, that really helps. Plus it's trample. Uh, if if we give it to a life-gaining angel, which we have, uh, what is this, six of them here, then it's really good as well because it gives them vigilance and a, a boost to their attack. We have Lyra, which gives all other angels a plus one, plus one, and a lifelink. So that's really good. Um, plus, the first strike's really relevant. Very relevant. One of the best blockers, I would think. Um, it is five mana, so we have to make sure we can get it out. Uh, and then, of course, Safara. Uh, now, our land package consists of, of course, dual buddy and shock lands. But also, we de I, I decided to put in uh, a Temple of Triumph. I could have sworn I had in blue and white. I could have sworn I had more temples than this. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, Temple of, Pif of Epiphany. I guess I didn't have any in blue and white. So, these temples, they're just in here because they're really good for scrying. And they still produce, uh, you know dual colored mana so that's that's pretty good um other than that i do have in case we get settled uh three basic lands in case we get assassin's trophy settled those those types of things so guys um that's the deck <laughs> let's get into some gameplay all right looks like we got a game here jerka versus moi still love the chandra avatar Looks way better than the basic Chandra avatar. Um, so yeah, uh, this is actually uh, not that bad of a keep here. We have opt and opt, turn one opt, turn two opt, and then a feather of the redeemed. So yeah, not too shabu. So pay two, so we can opt. We're gonna we're gonna act like we have a spell pierce or something just in case, you know, just in case he wants to play something. We, yeah. Now this is the problem with Justice Strike is that they do have to, they do have to have more power than they have toughness, but it's fine. They'll they'll get in one on us, I believe here. Um. Ugh, I don't think I'm going to pay another two life here. So intertapped and then pass. Feather the Redeemed will come out next turn. He doesn't have anything to bring back from his graveyard yet. So it doesn't even matter. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, we have to find more than lands eventually. Okay, well that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, so yes, he gets us for two. I think we're actually going to spend the turn. Hmm. So I want to be able to protect Feather. I think we're going to draw two cards here. And then we'll discard the Steam Vents. That's five mana, so we're, d we're doing good. We can do our three drops here, which we drew into. And then we can Justice Strike, God's Willing. We got some plays. Let's see what he brings down onto the field here. Dread Presence, well that card's good. Um, so we're gonna bring out Feather and leave up protection for Feather, so pass turn. So, yeah. Actually, since he only has one black mana, there's no way that he can find another instant to deal with it. And this is the good thing. We're very well adept against uh, mono black right now. Five. Six. This is six mana. Uh, yeah, we can probably get a turn seven going. And yeah, we're going to... I don't know why you would attack with your Dread Presence. Your Dread Presence is probably the best one to not uh, 
to not attack with. Okay. So one, two, three, resplendent angel. Um, and then we have double gods willing. So we're going to pass. And now we're, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable. We can scry into what we need. So sure, undead servant, yeah. That's something that can be justice struck next turn. Okay, so pass. Would you like to attack? He would. Well, since it's free, well, God's willing. Naming black. Uh, yeah, Aurelia's pretty good. Pretty good card to see. Pass to attack. Or pass to block. We block. And we pass again. My turn. Alrighty here. So. Huh. I think we pay two life. Aurelio Exemplar of Justice. Who hates Feather, by the way. If you don't know the lore, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, just lore from... <laughs> From, uh, what's it, what, War of the Spark, yeah. Feather does not, I mean, Aurelia does not like Feather. And if I remember correctly, like, Feather made Aurelia, and it's just really cool. Aurelia doesn't like Feather because she doesn't think in 100% discipline. Um, whereas Feather <laughs> gets put away because of Boros Legion, believes in 100% discipline, and then she gets redeemed. Yeah, resolve that. Sure, resolve that. And if we need to, we'll just strike it. Pass. Pass. My turn. Okay. Mm, I don't know if we're going to pay all six mana for that. Uh... I don't know if we're going to just strike anything right now either. I think, I think honestly, hmm. I think honestly we're just doing fine right now. I don't, there's no need to pay six mana. Uh, we'll give Feather the plus two there. Swing out with Feather. And yes, now you're down to ten. Uh, in turn. Alright, resolve that. Pass. Alrighty here, so we're going to just strike that. Pass the blockers. Long block here. Here. And here. And there we go. Doing great. Alright. And then we give it protection from black. Which he knows we have this. I don't know why he keeps on doing that when he knows we have this and that's not going to work. Alright. <laughs> so there we go guys. As you can see, Feather plus God's Willing makes angels really work. Like, seriously, that's that was probably as good as it gets right there. Um, I do appreciate that he was trying to, what he was trying to do with Mono Black. Um, I wish that it would have been better for him, but oh well. You get what you get with Monos, you know? I used to be all for mono white when I first started playing. For those that don't know my Magic Gathering history, I started in Innistrad, and my first deck ever was a mono white life gain deck, and it was 
great. I miss that deck. It is the last time that I really... Let me word this carefully. It's the, the best time I've ever had in Standard. It's not the last time I enjoyed Standard. Because I enjoy Standard now. Um, not as much since M20. But War of the Spark was super fun. And um, M20 is alright. You know. I wish it could be better. But it's alright. It's alright. So this is pretty good. Uh, Temple of Epiphany. Or Temple of Triumph. My bad. Is really good. Sadly cannot take a Lyra. Um, I'm going to need a fourth land. And a Justice Strike here. Well, I'm not going to pay two life to be able to Justice Strike when I don't have a play anyways. I guess I did have a play next turn. I have Resplendent Angel. Yeah, and there was nothing. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's fine. We're doing good. Ooh, a Safara. This early, huh? So, Resplendent Angel. Okay, and that's instantly going to get Justice Struck. <laughs> Sorry about that. I do not believe in your freaking Sapperlings. Resolve that. Ugh, oh, and the Bishop of Wings. Okay, well, Bishop of Wings comes out next turn. Um, nah, no reason to attack. Not till we're we're sure we're sure, you know. All right, let's see here. So uh, he's playing like a mono green token deck. It looks like, which I respect. I respect that everybody's been trying to go wide recently with Sapperling, with Sapperlings. It's only going to get worse from you. Uh, and okay, well, Bishop of Wings. Sure, sure. Next, next. No attacks. And in turn. Ugh, Verdant Force. That's a very good card right now. Pass turn. All right, we might lose. We might lose to mono green sapperlings. All right before my turn, I won't go ahead and waste it because I need to. Uh, green. Okay, yeah, that that works. Works out swimmingly right there. All right, so pay two life to put out an Aurelia. Gonna gain four life on that. And swing in for five. There we go. You must be new to magic because I would have swung in with that 7-7 seven, seven, since I don't have that great of blockers. You you basically... I mean, he don't have anything in hand. He doesn't have anything here. He doesn't have anything there. I don't know why he allowed this. Yeah, I don't know why he allowed that. Uh, next turn we can get Safar out, and that will basically close out the game. So, there we go. Resplendent Angel. Aurelia. Aurelia says, attack him for five. So really, we sh we probably should not have won this game, to be honest with you. Uh, if he was swinging with his 7-7, seven, seven, it would be a lot harder. But he didn't think straight, and so we're probably going to win. More than likely. And he also didn't. I don't. I don't appreciate what you're doing. I really don't. Uh, so shall I? Now, I think this is still the proper play. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do it like Sue, and still a seven seven. Uh, yeah, seven seven. I uh, life linker here. 
And then target up to one target creature you control. Sure. It doesn't really matter. And no attacks. Oh yeah, I did gain enough, didn't I? Ha! Huh. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Okay. So now he attacks with everything. We are going to block. 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 And. Block. All of that. And I believe we're still alive. Yes. We are still alive. And we get to untap. Oh no, I guess I forgot that Safari doesn't have Indestructible. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> that was super dumb of me. I feel so shameful right now. But it's okay, because I didn't get punished. Look at that card right there. Is that a Safari I see? So we're going to tap four things and pay one. These would be the four things. Submit four. Alrighty here, and we're going to opt. Uh, we do not need another land, no. Draw. Uh, and then enter this tapped. Okay, so... I guess we go in with a... Huh, we shouldn't have tapped our... Angels there. Huh, that sucks. But it's okay, I didn't realize it, but we would have just beat him in the face for the win right there. Ha! Huh, that was pretty good. Pretty good plays there. Just got angels. Winning the day here. Dun 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 dun. Winning the day. Alright, let's play one more game, guys. I hope you are enjoying this. If you are enjoying this, please like, share, subscribe. Do all that usual YouTube stuff. It would mean a lot to me. I got back to 68 subscribers. Somebody actually is subscribing. In fact, I think he deserves a shout out because I went from 68 to 67 and stayed at 67 for so long. I think you deserve a shout out. And this is, uh, is one spang. It's one spang. Thank you for subscribing. You're the best, and I appreciate you. All right. Um. You know, I love it, but I don't think I want more of it. Mulligan. Yeah. Okay. Sure. We're going to be behind because we don't have any one of the things that would make these untap. But it'll be all right. We have Resplendent Angel, uh, Angel Feather and God's Willing. So yeah, as long as we find another white source of mana, we should be good. And we have an opt to do so. Our opponent goes first. We're going to keep six. Um, I actually think we're going to throw away the winged. Yeah, the winged words. And just do this. Our opponent goes first. I thought is what it said. Oh well. I guess we go first. Let's see what a Rorina Rorini Kinchin has for us. We're going to oopt. Uh, I would love another God's Willing, but I can't. I can't just justify that. Yeah, see, we're gonna miss our land drop if we can't draw a land. And we've seen fifty, or excuse me, we've seen. Eight so far? No, nine. Nine so far. Nine cards so far. Now, we send ten because we put one other one on the bottom too. Alright, so he's going to Thought Erasure. Probably, I would imagine you're going to take my feather. I imagine you're going to take my feather. If you do not take my feather, and you let me put it down and survive a turn, you're screwed. You better take my feather.
Oh my. Okay, well, he took the God's Willing. That's a lot better, I guess. I. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, and of course, we're mana screwed. Let's see how many turns this goes on for. Put a land out. Yeah. Opponent has mana. And he thought erasures us again. Hmm. Now I imagine he takes a feather. He takes a Lyra. Oh, well, good choices. Good choices. We're way too little mana away from that. And of course we finally get a mana. And it's not worth it. I imagine he'll make us discard something else here. Nope, he just discovers. Will. Two blue mana. What you got? Upon it, upon it. Discovers again. Discovery. A very good card. Whew. Hmm. I just realized we still don't have mana to play anything. This is great. This is a fun time. Just watching watching my board not develop at all. All the buddy lands and literally can't play anything still because of double white. You're killing me. You're killing me, my deck. You're killing me. You got anything here, opponent? You just staring? No? Okay. Second main. Alright. And, well, we're going to concede so you don't have to watch any more of that crap. <laughs> that was terrible. Buddy lands and buddy lands, but no white mana other than that one. We need white mana. I don't think that'll happen again, though. Chandra versus Chandra. Um, remember that problem we had last game? I don't th think this is that bad, though. I think I think I can fix it. I think we can make this Jess guy work. <laughs> kind of surprised that I didn't have that problem with the first two games since it was so bad last game. Let's opt into a land. That's a land, and that's a Beautiful land at that. Ooh, and we get an opt off the top here. This is double scry. Uh, you know, I want a feather. Hmm. Alright, let's hope we get a white mana here. Sometime soon. Shard, of course. Very nice. wonder if he's playing Grixis Drakes, by chance. Alright, and we're going to hard cast a Winged Words. Still no white mana, but we do have a fourth mana, so we can get Aurelia. We can get Shillai. We can start doing things here. So, here comes Shalai at your face. What do you have, sir? Ooh, he's playing Field of the Dead, guys. Uh-oh. Field of the Dead. Here we come. 
Okay, so I think we're going to Aurelia. <clears throat> Aurelia. And then swing for five. You are on a three turn clock now, Sarah. Three turns. And you're just now at five mana. Bond of. Sure, yes. Yes, you can only deal it to that. Congratulations. No blocks. We'll just strike that card. That is another white mana. Um, Feather the Redeemed. Sadly, we cannot put out Feather the Redeemed in Justice Strike. Although, yeah, no, we need a Justice Strike. Sadly, sadly, sadly. And then Aurelia triggers herself. I like what he's doing. The Draco Seth deck? That's pretty cool. Alright, you're down to 11. And in turn. Do do do. We can feather next turn. Nickel Bolas. Okay. Uh, we'll get rid of our extra Aurelia. Resolve that. Extra Aurelia gone. And then just strike it. And boom. I think we're going to do another Shalai for now. Shalai. And then next. Swing four at you. Next. And in turn. Sure, chart of course. Resolve that. Nah, <laughs> cast down. Yeah, that's not too good against us right now. We're we're basically playing a historical deck right now. I remember when Cast Down first came out though. I thought that card would be so good. And it kinda is. Kinda. Sometimes. Yeah, seven mana, gonna get you. I mean, seven life, gonna get you. Alright. Well, guys, I think that's gonna do her for today. Um, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, do all that usual YouTube stuff. And this is Sneaky Narcotic, signing off.